Hello everyone, it's me Ivory Snow Plays, Happy Time Zone, and we are about to get into some decorating, and this is for a, a save file that I've been working on, and I'm really excited, so I hope you all 
enjoy it as much as I'm about to. Why is she having a text emergency? Is she okay? I'm not sure, but <laughs> yeah, maybe they missed the first one. Shallon, my dear, hello, happy time zone. I hope work is going well. Um, so right now we're with the Jones family. We have one sister that's thinking about having a baby, Natasha. Anyway, um, hold on, let me see something. So who is this? Is this the, okay, this is their nanny. We got to give the nanny a makeover, but that's a whole other part. Anyway, so this is the sim that the Let's Play is going to be centered around. This is Nivea Jones, and we're going to be following Nivea from high school to college to, like, her first big girl job. And so we're going to be decorating her room. And this is one of the older sisters. This is Natasha. Um, Natasha is going to be more like a background character. Her room is upstairs. Uh, she is a twin. Why is it dark in here? Let me change it to, like, one. Okay. There we go. Um, so this is Miss Natasha's room. Now, Natasha, this this save file is taking place like the summer before Nivea's senior year in high school and before the twins go away to college. Hold on, this music is distracting the fuck out of me. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's taking place like the summer before the twins go to college and uh, before Nivea senior year in high school so uh, yeah this is one of the twins room but secretly this twin doesn't want to go to college this twin wants to do her own thing but we'll just have to talk about that in the let's play and then this twin is going to school for art so this is her room I already kind of started it and this is Natalie right here. I don't know what happened to her hair. I don't know what's up with her outfit but Yeah, she's not the what is going on? Hold on What is happening? My game is a little bit like eh, right now YouTube stream with the Sims feels like you're coming home to all the field. Yes, I'm so excited to be back I don't know what this girl is wearing. I don't know where this outfit came from, but Natalie, I made all her outfits. I'm not sure what she has on. Oh, apparently she had a second everyday outfit. Well, good to know. Anyway, okay, there she is as we know her. So uh, this is Natalie the artsy twin she's a very good artist uh, because her parents are rich and they had the ability to afford her all of the training she needed to be good at art um and then here is the mother uh this is miss leticia who's very tense and apparently pregnant like i don't know what her and the dad were doing when i was decorating but clearly she's pregnant right now and i don't know how i feel about that um, I might, I don't know, we might have to do something about that. <laughs> Sammy G, hello, happy time zone, welcome on in. Hope you're having a good one. Can you guys see, is the stream starting? Like, is it live? Okay, because on my end, it looked like there was a huge delay. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello, Mandy. I see. But yeah, plot twist. She's pregnant. Did nobody tell her to bust it open? They already got too many kids. I was trying to get them another dog and it wouldn't let me get the dog. And I'm like, why can't they have two dogs? I wanted them to have two pits. And I shot on this bitch. This bitch pregnant. I was like, absolutely not. But the twins are going to be moving out anyway. 
and this is their father. I don't know why their daddy is kind of fun. Like, mm. anyway, um, he kind of like, I'm trying to get a good view of him. Like, I don't know. It's just something about like the bald men that just does it for me. I don't know why, but he's kind of like, like I see why they got all these damn kids. So that's a little bit of the backstory. So let me show you parts of the house before we start decorating. Oh, uh, here's their maid. She's very gorgeous. I kind of just randomly picked a maid and put some skin details on her, changed her outfit. And this is their live-in maid, Alice. I have the live-in services mod. Uh, now the mother is a news reporter. She's a very big news anchor. And the father is a SBA player, which is like the NBA before the Sims. And how can I forget a little stinker butt? How can I forget her? How, how could I forget to show you guys little stinka mama? Look, she need a bath. Where's the nanny? She's just out here rotting. Kristen, hi, happy time zone. Yeah, it's just something about that smooth, grippable head. Ooh, I said too much. Anyway, let me put on some background music so we can start decorating. <laughs> it, but, you know, it's just something about it. Like, I don't really know. Like. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is going to be the wonderful uh, save file that I'm working on. I'm still going to have the time I got pregnant by a vampire. I kind of like that story actually a lot. Um, they just pissed me off <laughs> because that it was that save file was supposed to be like this. It was supposed to be like cute and like, you know, they were going to fall in love, had a baby. I didn't expect expect for it to be messy um give me one moment i'm trying to put on background music but i don't know if um hmm bear with me one second it's hard for me to like I'm starting to realize it's hard for me to talk and do things I'm trying to put on background music and I got rid of epidemic sound um yeah I got rid of it because I just felt like it wasn't worth it I'm gonna do a whole like deep dive too into like other streaming is like a simmer or second life person um but yeah I I don't think epidemic sound is worth the money Anyway, let me put on this background music. Okay. Pre-trial. I'm so sorry, guys. I thought I had this done already. Okay. Puff ups. <clears throat> okay. Okay. They all got jazz. They all got like, <laughs> where the jazz at? Oh, I'm moving. Okay, we can decorate to this. <laughs> all right, here we are. Oh, your second life name is different now. What did you change your name to? Is the nanny getting her? Because if not, you're fired as fuck. Uh huh. Uh -oh. What's the best? Okay. Songso. Befite. Oh. Why is she cuddling the bag of? Oh, you sure. Anyway, I'm just, I'm ignoring the nanny. I'm ignoring the nanny as fuck. So let me show you guys the house and then we'll start decorating. So this is the Jones family home. Um, they were living in a different place where the dad was playing basketball, but he's getting ready to retire. And he's currently, this is just like the fake backstory, right? Body rolling. This is a vibe. Uh, but anyway, he is spending his last years as a basketball player here in, oh yeah, the nanny is very different, very unique. 
But um, yeah, so they moved into this home and they downsized a bit because they weren't planning on having any more children. Why is there a random poo right there? Anyway, they weren't planning on having any more children. But as you can see, they have a little toddler, like a little two, little two year old. Um, they started, you know, really young and they were working on their careers, but now they have this baby and now, you know, she's pregnant again. So the parents have their own side stories, but this is the office. Normally the mom will come here and this is where she does her research for her news articles. Um, this is where she keeps her, her new baby and down here is like where she does investigative work. I didn't decorate it. Um, this house is also, it's on the gallery. I'll show it to you later. I did not build this house. I, I, I stress that y'all know I can't build. <laughs> so I didn't build it, but I'm renovating. So this is where she does her newscaster research stuff. And let me see here. Okay, so when we come to the front, you know, they're rich, so they have this really fancy entryway. They got the cars. And then there's the family car in the garage with the bikes. Um, I have to replace the chairs here, but they did such an amazing job. I don't know why their name is escaping me, but I like a lot of their builds and I will put it in the description, but I'll show it to you guys in the gallery as well. Um, okay, Miss May. Look, I like her. She's doing her job. The nanny sucks. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. The nanny is about to get fired. Because why were you cuddling our toddler's poop diaper? Like, that's so weird. Um, anyway, this is where they can listen to some music. Thank you. I wish I could take credit for it. But um, there were a few things I had to replace. Everything else came with it. I'm at a point where I've accepted that hold on I gotta boost my microphone here I've accepted that I'm not really good at building so I just you know get things off the gallery I get things uh, off Twitter patreon that I see and I just renovate it to my liking because I'm not that 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 ain't me that ain't me I can't do it Okay, I think my mic is much louder now. Perfect. Right, no, uh, you're absolutely right, Shallon. Like, the maid is doing her thug thizzle. Uh, this is the, oh, not the better exception. Anyway, this is the family room. And, you know, this is just where they can come. This is a frame TV. And this is where their dog, Miss Lady, sits. Lady is a pit bull. I'll show you her in a minute. I love an artsy girl. This is their kitchen. I might change some things in here, but this is not our focus for the day. Once everything is done, I'll do a full house tour, but I can't believe this bitch is actually pregnant. Like, you was just busting it open. Like you, you have so many things to accomplish, okay? You're trying to get your own talk show and retire as a news anchor and you know what she's going to do it while pregnant I love that for her but like this is the kitchen but it's a little bit weird right because here's the kitchen here's a cooktop and then in here is like the washer and dryer question mark with a stove I don't know I don't understand um so I might just make this a laundry room or I might put the laundry room downstairs. I don't know. Uh, let's go upstairs. Um, this empty room right here is going to be the nursery. So we're going to decorate that. And then this room right here is Nivea's room that we'll be decorating. Let's see here. I have to put the walls halfway down. Who is this? The nanny. Why is the nanny just standing there? Oh, it's probably the better exception that I had. Okay. Anyway, well, I'm just going to pause the game. The parents' room is really gorgeous. I really didn't have to do anything to it. They have the main suite in here. 
Uh, so this is their bedroom area, very plain. Um, these people are very rich. And when I just think of like, you know, very rich people, you know, Hollywood people, I think of like big giant homes with um, minimalism. Like that's just the style, like Kim Kardashian's house. So this is kind of like the vibe that the house had going and I just kept it. Not too much decor in here, but it's still nice. Shallon, listen, I think the decorating in The Sims is a game in itself. Like, that is fun. But like I said, I ain't do this. I ain't do this. I downloaded it. I, I just, I did some bits and pieces. <laughs> so, <laughs> I ain't do all this. Uh, but yeah, and then this is like, you know, their walk-in closet. Oh my God, hey, Zaddy. Mm, why are you sad? What's wrong? How can I help you? Like, it's so, it's okay. Mr. Handsome Bald Man, it's all right. Um, this is their bathroom. I think it's really nice, spacious, and yeah. Oh man, you spent four hours yesterday decorating. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's fun. But let me show you how sh they snap with this backyard. I really didn't do anything. I added the kiddie pool and the hot tub, but I love this lot because it looks, it overlooks Del Sol Valley, right? And their backyard is just perfect for like looking over the rolling hills and just, you know, enjoying how rich they are. Uh, they're the elites. They are. And then they have this like nice area where they can, you know, there's a bar here. I got to put a grill somewhere. And they have a nice fire pit nice outdoor eating area and then you know the dad is a basketball player so we have this basketball court you guys already seen the twins suite upstairs so yeah that is it but let me show you where i got this on the gallery especially if you set the vibe with music and snacks absolutely uh, Kristen, you added mods yesterday. Nice. What mods did you put in your game? I was hanging out with um, Shallon and Rare in Discord last night, and we were watching videos, and I was fixing my <laughs> I was fixing my save file because I downloaded something, and whatever I put in my mods folder will not allow me to search in. Yeah, it's, it's not good. Not good at all. All right. Oh, by the way, if anybody is looking for hyper-realistic pets, uh, there is a creator called Pug Owned, and all of their stuff is on the gallery. They hand paint all of these. This is not like CC like they paint these and um, I use this pit bull for Miss Lady. That's the family dog. Now they also have tigers if you wanna make your own tiger sanctuary. Yep, they're in Del Sol Valley. Real rich, real, real decadent, you know, Del, Del Sol vibes. <laughs> Del Sol vibes, uh, let me see here. Uh, they have this really cool Dalmatian. So yeah, pug own. Um, I love their stuff. Like this cat that they painted is amazing. You tried adding Wicked Whims and it's the updated one and it's not working. Oh no. The update is very interesting and adds like panty sniffing. Um, like look at this chihuahua. Anyway, um, let me find this bill. So this is the Land Grab Mansion. Oh, it's by... Bojana, I don't know why I forgot that, but yeah, Bojana, uh, this is the home that I use. It does have CC. Uh, you can find it, I believe, on like their Patreon or Tumblr. I just decided to put it in Del Sol Valley as opposed to Oasis. And I think if you're looking for some really nice pre-builds and you don't mind CC, you'll definitely find some nice stuff here. Um, like they have a lot of really nice family homes. Like look at this one. I might have to use this for the community save file and put this in San Sequoia. 
because that's where we're moving the community safe aisle to um this family restaurant like Bojana is very talented uh, so that's the house that we're decorating but yeah i really didn't have to do much to the rest of it uh, everything was like good to go but we're gonna be decorating the girls room so let's just get started I'm not sure what everyone's issue is right now but I'm just gonna make everyone happy and then I'm going to start decorating it seems like the family is stressed out um, okay do I have that disabled what is my autonomy on oh no wonder why the dad's not doing anything <laughs> no wonder why because i had it disabled i'm so sorry zaddy i i didn't mean to have you trapped in a loop like that okay let's get started decorating the baby's room now I'm okay so when you see the first episode or like when I introduce all the sims don't be surprised if y'all watch it and the mom is no longer pregnant oh what's wrong with lady what's the matter who hurt lady what is her problem I literally would do anything for this fictional pixel dog. Like, why is she upset? Let me save here too. And he was, and he was. Seven o'clock, get in the morning, you know, rays from the sun to wake up. Looking ass. When you um, added it, Kristen, did you like extract everything and put it as like one folder in the mods folder or did you drag and drop it? Cause I can try to show you. Oh, I, hold on, I got some weird mods. I, I, actually, I'm not gonna show you. What is wrong with everyone? Can I reset everybody? Everyone is like stuck. You know what? We're not even doing gameplay. I'm not even going to worry about it. All right. So getting started with the nursery, I feel like this is going to be the easiest one because like she's, she's just the baby. You know what I mean? Like she's just, she's like two, three years old. So we could put anything out here as opposed to Nivea, where it's just like, I have to think about her personality. She's a little bit more posh. You know, she wants to be a fashion girl. Like that's that's her whole spiel. Uh, but with the baby, it's just like, girl, if you don't, if you don't put a little paint crib out there and um, a, a teddy bear and call it a day. But yeah, if you still need help, Kristen, let me know. Um, I do have a hair appointment today, but I will be back after and if you want to hop in discord I can help try to help figure it out all right so I'm just throwing stuff out I can't use the search uh, feature still because everything will crash but uh, I'm just gonna put some things out and see what I want well that's a deco crib Hmm. I don't know if I want to do her room pink. I think I gave her a lot of like purple outfits. So we might do purple or like a nice neutral color with like a light lilac. Let me see. This is nice. Okay. Hmm. 
Mm. I'm just gonna keep, keep putting stuff out and seeing what sticks. What is this? Tud's changing table. Okay. Tud's dresser. Hmm. I'm still liking the look of the Johanna nursery decor, but I'm gonna keep looking. It's a fall mirror. Oh, this is cute. The castle bed. But um, I think y'all are gonna like, oh, I forgot to show you guys. Don't judge me for the living services rooms right now. I gotta like redo this area. <laughs> right now that's where the maid and the daddy sleep. Don't y'all say nothing, okay? I, it's, it's not like they're trapped in Beyonce's basement. It's gonna be better. You know, they're gonna have days off. It's, don't judge, okay? But they have this nice indoor pool down here. Um, they also have this workout area as well as a sauna and then there's a bathroom down here, but You know don't Don't ask questions about the the living services um, Quarters I just uh, we, we gonna get to it. Okay. I'm gonna fix it before the, <laughs> the Let's play actually starts um, Please don't judge me at least I put down beds because there was like no other room. It's given prison. <laughs> the hell needs to blink twice, but they need help. Yeah, you know, they get paid lovely and they can go see their family anytime. Yes, yes, they can see their family whenever they want. But I was looking at her earlier and I was like, why it look like they in jail? For real, like, you got them locked up. Okay. The nursery. Hmm. Not the acrylic crib. Goodbye. Allegedly, yeah, they can allegedly definitely see their their family. They have not left yet, so but they're happy. But you know the the nanny. I don't think the nanny likes her job. I'm not gonna lie. Like we might have to fire her. She just doesn't seem like she's here to work, and we shouldn't have to like force this nanny to work. She should just want to do her job. I'm sorry. Okay, let me see here. You know, I'm just gonna delete all of this because I think some of this is kid furniture. Okay. Okay, this is cute. It still shocks me that I am so in love with Maxis these days. Um, Y'all know I used to be really big into Alpha, but I don't know, I just feel like um, Maxis, my game runs smoother. Like it's, uh, been good. Let me see. SYB candy. Hmm. Oh. Okay, a lot of my toddler stuff isn't working. It's vanishing. That's not good.
Hmm. Might need to do a batch fix, but the last time I did that, it messed my game up. Yeah, none of these beds are working. That's frustrating. Okay. I think they might have got messed up with the patch thing, because, well. <laughs> We're just going to have to use this toddler bed, because the other ones are not working. Um, that's frustrating. That is very frustrating. How about this one? Okay. I need to get updated toddler broom CC. Perfect. Well. Let me see here. Oh, not the Batman one doesn't work either. Okay. Well. Nothing works. Love that. Love that. <laughs> well, we'll decorate this for now and we'll just, I'll, I'll have to redecorate it once I fix the beds. Did this bed work? Oh wait, that's weird. Cause that bed worked before. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get in and do a batch fix, so Oh, I think I might be having an issue. Hold on because I can't even place anything. No, I think I need to batch fix my toddler beds, Mandy. I, um... Extinguish fire. Y'all see a fire? This man. Um, their daughter cooked and almost set the house on fire the other day. So, I mean, his feelings are valid. They are. But ain't nobody, you know, fire. Don't scare us like that. Okay, at least I can get the woods to match, but for whatever reason... It's not sticking. And I didn't want to do sad beige for the baby. What the heck? Oh, this is weird. Hmm. Did I have two copies of the bed? Let me try saving the game. I'm not gonna lie, I did turn my monitors off and have The Sims running all night. And then when I came back to my computer, I was like, oh, okay. Um, so maybe I need to restart the game cause this is being weird. Hmm. But it is my headcanon that saving the game uh, rejogs its memory and it could work again. You didn't notice that tool? Mm, yeah, uh, I know with the tool mod, there's like a color wheel, 
but I don't know how to use the tool mod. I, it's, it's too much going on for me. I would love to learn how to use it. What was this exception that I got? I see. Okay, let me close Discord. <laughs> let me close Discord. Let me close Steam. Give me one second. trying to fix this I I see what's going on is it pretzel rock that's using so much memory Let me stop the music for a moment. I think my game is trying to think and it's having a hard time because my memory is, uh, it was at like 90 something percent. So I, I want to get a new PC built or just upgrade the memory that I have upgrade, like, you know, PC parts, my Ram and things like that. Um, because it was like, it was scary for a moment. <laughs> so I could see why there was an issue. Um, I had to close Chrome because it was just too much going on. So hopefully doing that, Sims has more room to think and this will save or the game will crash. So we'll just have to wait and see what's about to happen. Time is at 11.17. We'll wait. I'm going to time it and see how long it takes for it to save. Hmm. Come on, come on, please. Don't do this to me. But yeah, if I upgrade my RAM, expand my physical memory, I should not still have this problem. But I'm afraid to like get in my PC and like do things to it. My biggest fear that, you know, if I do try to do something myself, I'll mess it up <laughs> and just yeah i'm i've been afraid to like upgrade different parts by myself but i'm getting to the point where it's just like well i kind of have no choice but to upgrade it at this point i need to upgrade my graphics card i need to change out my thermal pace okay i see it working now yeah my my physical memory was just shot for a bit i had to close chrome um but yeah i gotta do all of those things upgrade a little ram to use, you know, my PC the way I need to. So bear with me, it's it's still saving. I see some of the furniture is appearing, which is a good sign. Uh, we just gotta let it do its thing. Okay, and then there was an exception, a stereo. Stereo, listen, team mood swing on speaker. Oh, it was a stereo issue, what?
and I have more duplicates. You know, I don't, I don't have time for this negativity. I don't, <laughs> I don't. Let me just bring the music back up. No wonder why it was thinking about all of the errors that I had. That makes perfect sense. Well, anyway, I just, I choose to um, live in peace and happiness. So I'm just not going to acknowledge those right now. I'm disengaging with uh, the errors. But yeah, I have a lot of duplicates still. I thought I got them all. And there was something with the stereo. But that's negativity. And I just, when I'm playing The Sims, I don't like that negativity. So. Oh, hold on. Not the fake Justin Bieber. I'm not listening to this. Anyway. Camaro, hello. How are you? Happy time zone. All right, back to positivity. <laughs> Let's see if this furniture actually works or if it's broken for real or if it was just the game. Okay. So it was just the game. This is the dreamy bed. Dreamy bed. I knew something was weird. Uh, cozy, hello, my love. How are you? Welcome in, everybody. Happy time zone to everyone. I hope everyone's having a great Friday. Hmm. Why is my, why is it mismatched? Like I have pieces of stuff, but not matching, like there's no matching set. So I guess we're just gonna wing it and it's not gonna match, which is fine with me. But I could have sworn that I downloaded matching sets of CC. Dreamy toddler bed, tiny travelers, My life girl, hello, happy time zone, welcome in. Love you too, hope you're having a good one. Yeah, it's the room for the toddler, the little sister's room. You're doing well. Me too, Camaro, me too. I hope everything and everyone's day is going nice and positive. You know, I'm getting negative energy from my CC right now because ain't no way there's missing like, okay, here's a matching toddler bed. I was about to say, it was about to get really real for a moment because <laughs> I was like, hold on, ain't no way I spent hours downloading custom content and this piece is missing. How'd that happen? <laughs> like I was about to get real upset. Like I know there was a matching bed to this dresser. You wasn't for to play with me, Sims, but I found you, so it's okay. Um, and like I said, I cannot use the search feature because, yeah, my game is too broken for that, so. Whew. Oh, thank you, my life girl. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just chilling. But I'm glad you're here spending time with me. Thank you. It was a great relaxing day for you. You're off today. Hope the day's been blessed as well. Yeah, I'm off today myself. I no longer have to do anything on Fridays. Um, so I don't, I don't work on Fridays. Um, I actually do have a hair appointment later today. It's going to be my last silk press of the season. I'm looking forward to it. Hold on, y'all. Let me hyper focus on. All right, let me see some. Because now it's no dresser. Okay, here's the changing station. Maybe I need to click on like the regular furniture. We're looking for SYB candy. I do like. Oh, I have this out. Okay, so I like this. 
uh, SYB candy. Hmm. Baby's first chamber pot. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Cha Baby's first chamber pot? Where did I get this? That is hilarious. Baby's first chamber pot. Well, well, I'm just going to pretend like I didn't see that. I don't know how that got in my save file, guys. I, Anyway, I don't know where that came from. Um, but apparently i have a chamber pot you never know what you might need for your sims so there we there we go let's see here i don't like that mm. Thank you, my life, my life girl. I appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, now let me see, where was I? Baby doll changing table. Oh, she can have like her little, her, for her little fake baby doll. Okay, I like that. We could put a high chair in here. Um, I'm just gonna keep throwing things out and then we're gonna start putting it together. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If you are anyone that has not played The Sims for some time and you're thinking of like starting back over, I highly recommend just deleting just take that CC folder and delete it. Um, it's not worth it to like sort through everything and like fix it. Cause with all of the batch, like, or patch patches that came out recently. Yeah. It's, um, it's just better to start over, you know, get the main mods, wicked whims, base mental MC command center. Um, trying to think what else um mods by little miss sam's but trying to update everything in your save file i do not recommend right now because it is um it's going to take forever okay apparently there's nothing left in i don't see any more syb candy Interesting. on do this come with a black baby okay well the baby brown skin it count <laughs> it count um you need to start over your sims game need new cc and you know what camaro i have been really into the sims resource i used to be one of their biggest haters but now i love it like i am all for the sims resource i check it often i see what they have and yeah it, it works you haven't played for some time because of all the updates and crap is going to be glitchy actually cc should be good unless they updated the mesh or the item is modded um clothing should be fine depending on how long ago you played like if you played before or after infants you might need to update your skin details and like certain genetic things um but like furniture may or may not be glitchy um, but like all of the mods and overrides and things like that, I would definitely recommend just getting rid of all of that.
because from my understanding what they did was they actually went into like the code or something like that and they redid some things in the coding so it basically a lot of mods broke at one point because of it I'm trying Shallon I'm I'm trying I don't know what's happening so far I'm just I'm just here all right I'm gonna put the bed here and I'm gonna put the changing table right here I don't know if I like those didn't I say the nursery was gonna be super easy because it's a nursery yeah that was a lie that was a huge lie like the first watch better yeah I think one thing I want to challenge myself I really want to learn how to use the tool mod every time like I see someone do a build where they use the tool mod I'm just like oh that's amazing I could never and it's not that I could never I really could learn how to just you know use that good old tool mod but it's just I gotta sit down and find the right tutorial oh, I don't like that Oh, you're multitasking on here in SL for the first time in over a month. You know, Kamara, I just came back to Second Life myself. You know, after <laughs> after all of that very just wow um, type of stuff that happened. You know, I finally came back after they, you know, said their piece, and it was rough. I was homeless. I I was. I was in the trenches like I don't know it was so much going on for me I was scared I logged into a safe hub I was like oh they got me going through it where am I gonna put her toys though maybe like over here Yeah, thank you, Kristen. I just wanted something, you know, really adorable for the little one. Now that I think about it, like after I do this nursery, where's the mom at? This bitch not having this baby. <laughs> uh, she is not having that baby. So like I said, when when the first episode of the Let's Play comes out and I introduce everyone and you see she is no longer pregnant, please don't be surprised because they already got um, they already got a lot of kids. <laughs> like, they have four kids. We don't need another one. And they started all over. They have two adult children, a uh, senior in high school. And the backstory is that, you yep. know, they got pregnant really young. Um, and then right out of high school, you know, he got drafted into the SBA Ugh. and she held him down and, you know, she went to school, she got into her career, she became a news anchor. So, you know, oh, they were like high school was. sweethearts. Ugh. So now they got this big, beautiful house and this little stink of baby. So they literally started over. Yeah, they had twins, their oldest, their twin girls, and then they had her shortly after. 
all these years later, they decided to just start over with a little little toddler. Like I just I thought that would be a fun storyline for the parents, you know. Um, but then she goes and gets pregnant. It's like, did nobody tell you to do that? <laughs> nobody told you to do that. Oh, you're not coming back cozy. I understand. Right, Shal. And I'm going to have to do a whole new nursery. I wonder what she's pregnant with. Maybe they could share. <laughs> I could just put a crib out. Uh, if it's a girl, no. If, if they're having another daughter, they have four. They don't need another daughter. Let me see. Uh, MC pregnancy. Okay. Pregnant with, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Um, that that baby ain't going that that baby ain't going to stay there. It's 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 going to get deleted <laughs> real soon, <laughs> very soon. Yeah. Uh, she's pregnant with another girl yeah she was spreading it wide open because you know i was doing all of the prep stuff i was hiring their maids i was um making sure that the older girls the twins are going to be in school i was doing all of the things and then they just over there wicked women it up and bending that ass over and letting her coochie breathe a little bit too much and now she's pregnant again like ma'am Like the backstory was for them to start over with a little toddler with, you know, all of these older kids. The backstory wasn't for them to continue to, you know, uh, procreate that, that I'm not doing infants right now. I'm not doing that. Uh, -uh. but you know, if, oh, I thought this was, this is a ringway. We don't need that. If I change my mind and they get pregnant again, we'll see. But right now, mm -mm. it's a no-no. Oh yes, fetus deletus. We gonna pray for it, but she she, she not staying. I'm sorry, she gotta go. <laughs> That baby is not kicking it with us. She will not be in the, the Let's Play. But you know what's funny though? I think that once I fully get into the um, the daughter storyline, I might just have to put the mom on birth control because if she got pregnant that quickly, And I didn't even realize it. Yeah, she's going on birth control. I'm sorry. Exactly, Cozy. That was her bending it over, busting it open, keeping the love alive. Yeah. Yeah, They, the Sims, I'm telling you, these Sims be smart. They heard me talking about their backstory. Like, you know, they got older kids. They started over. And what happened was I had them back here at the basketball court. You know, they were playing a game of basketball together. Next thing I know, I go back in live mode and I hear like the woohoo noise. I'm like, what? who was woohooing in this home? Them. <laughs> Them. They, they turned it into love of basketball for real. They was having a good time. So. But hold on, their picture was really cute. Let me show you guys. Let me show you their pictures. Um, see, I had them playing basketball, right? They were doing their little thing. And then I took like this nice little picture of them. I guess he was hugging her from behind. I was like, oh, they're so cute. I didn't know that this was foreplay. And this must have been the time she got pregnant because I was like, oh, look at them cuddling it up on the court. Yeah, yeah, cuddling it up all the way to her getting inseminated sick and twisted <laughs> we're getting back in the conversation crying looking for a nice little end table for this nursery 
I'm not gonna hold you guys. I think I need to go shopping for a nice nursery set. I think like to get something that I would like and be happy with, I need to like find something. What if I built a platform and like raise this nursery up a little bit? Let me see how that would look. I'm gonna play you for your heart in this song. He played her for um, more than just that heart. They was playing pooty tang. They wasn't playing basketball. But yeah, um, I, I we are making the executive decision that that's not going to be a part of the story. <laughs> but you know, I um, I'm excited to follow a sim because it's been a while since I've done this. So, um, we'll be following her from high school through college and you know we're just we're gonna get to see her prom and you know her first date and all of those things like it's gonna be so cute it's gonna be too cute and normally when i you know start a let's play or you know start storytelling with the sims is always like some half naked big booty bitch <laughs> like i'm just gonna be honest it's like always some half naked big booty bitch and you know to we just start woohooing and going to the club and i'm like oh oh what did i what did i just do okay anyway um and yeah they just you know go to the clubs like party they do base mental drugs and <laughs> i'm like you know I want to do something different because even with the the time I got pregnant by a vampire story that was supposed to be wholesome I swear to y'all that was supposed to be very wholesome but it ain't work out that way it ain't work out so yeah like a nice mini legacy challenge but without the um constraints of like you know how people have those rules for their legacy challenges i'm not doing that shit oh that's not what i wanted to do i just want to lift up this platform why is my game struggling to raise this platform Oh, that's too high. She's like two feet tall. <laughs> she can't do all that. Okay, there we go. But yeah, like some legacy challenges are a little bit too strict for me. Oh, and now she could be like a princess for real. She could climb the stairs to her, her bed. That's so cute. Okay, I like this. Let me see here. I do want to change the color in the room because I feel like it's way too bright. And I feel like I'm getting blinded. Let me see. And y'all know I can barely see as it is. I don't want to do pink though. Let's do like a neutral wall. Um... Mm -mm, that's not giving princess room. Um, I don't like that color. Maybe I will do like a mauve type of color for... Oh, I kind of like... Let me see. I kind of like this. No, that's too much going on. Let me see. 
This is more like a mauve type of color. I do like that a little bit better. Why does this bed look like it's glowing? Or is it me? <laughs> like, it's like her bed is like very glowy. Is it the lighting in here? Like, oh, I do see the little tiny saucer lights. Okay. That's why. We don't need all that. That is why. I know a lot of simmers like that super duper like bright look, but bitch, I'm old. That should be hurting my eyes. <laughs> give me like, give me like one good saucer light in the space, cause it, it was something hurting my ocular nerve, and I knew, I knew it was something going on, cause like, why was it that strain? It, it was too many of them little lights up there. I knew it. All right, let me just move this one more close close to the center oh what did that just do there we go because y'all wasn't gonna make me blind <laughs> like why, why was it that bright okay now i can okay i can see now no like so like you see all these little lights i'm like why is it so bright in here so now i'm gonna have to go through and like because my reshade is or my g shade is kind of bright as it is and i'm like why my eyes hurt i see them you have all the little tiny saucer lights okay there's two in here it's not as bad in here because the colors are more muted but in the nursery since everything was like pink it was like overkill <laughs> like it was it was very very much painful um let's try a nice like carpet in here i'm having too much fun with this nursery i this is not even the the main sim but i just think the little sister is just so cutie patootie i can't help it she's adorable Actually, no. What if I just kept it with the wood and then just did like a nice rug? Yeah. Oh, wait. Let's put something on this platform. She might cozy like her, her room is gonna be so cute all right let's see well you know whose room i do like that i did yesterday and i was hanging out with y'all this is not her room this is her older sister's room but i kind of want to i'm gonna redo her outfits i want her to be like an e-girl like a discord kitten kind of girl um gamer girl she definitely streams on twitch and because her parents are rich and famous i know she has a lot of you know a lot of internet um presence a really strong internet presence but i i really like this room it's not done yet i need to add more but because they're going to be moving out soon i didn't want to put too much thought into it so and like this sister she's moving out very soon um she's doing her art thing so i was going to cover the rest of the room in boxes to you know show that she's moving out where can you find black male avatars people keep gatekeeping us so annoying chris so with that um you would I mean, you know, get your mesh head and body and make your shape. But I would just recommend going to, what's the name of the store? Oh my goodness. There's like a skin store. My brother was telling me about it. I'm not sure if you're in the Discord, but when I remember, I'll put it in the Discord and I'll let you know. Um, Cause my brother goes to a really nice skin store, but I, 
can't remember the name of it. I know for hair though, unorthodox, they have really nice hairs. Um, but no, I, I understand that frustration. A lot of things get gatekept. I don't like gatekeeping. I think gatekeeping is so corny, personally. But yeah, when I remember, or I'll just have to ask, um, I'll have to ask Zan. Oh, VR chat. I thought you were talking about Second Life. Sorry. Um, VR chat. I have not been on VR chat in some time. I'm not going to hold you, uh, unfortunately. Um, there were some that I came across, but every time I try to go back to them, they're gone. So you have me curious now. I kind of want to like revisit VR chat to see if I can find any. I don't like that. I don't like this either. No, you're welcome. I'm sorry. I wish I had like a better answer, but I haven't really been on VR chat. Uh, my last few experiences on VR chat were not positive. Um, due to the fact that I'm black and I choose to be a, a black avatar, they, they just weren't really positive. So I, I haven't been on VR chat in a good minute. I wish it wasn't like that though. Mm. Oh, this is right. This is cute. I like it. Child, all this for the little toddler. I'm crying. I'm crying. I, I just know this little girl is spoiled. I just know she's fucking spoiled. <laughs> like, especially since her and her older sister, um, Nivea, who the Let's Play is centered around, um, that's them in the thumbnail. Like, they're very close, right? Um, so she has her sister that's in high school that lives with her that, you know, spoils her. Oh, this came through very loud. Uh, she has an her own personal nanny she has two older sister like yeah she's she's living her best life for sure she don't have nothing to worry about and me the summer I'm spoiling her because why does a two two three year old need this type of like it's a lot going on but you know what I only want the best for my sims and this is what she's getting I'll add variety later. I'm not doing it right now. Let me see. Uh, kids decorations. Let me save here. Just in case. You never know what might happen. <laughs> You spoil your sim too, it's okay. Yeah, I just I, I just want my sims to know that they are loved. That's all. Yeah, definitely gotta save. Um, cause earlier, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna crash and I was about to say, well, that's over. <laughs> We're leaving, no more stream. But no, I'm, I'm glad that it was just an exception and it went through. Oh, wait, can we do her name right here and then move this? Hold on. Because I have these simlish letters 
N A E F. I'm not even gonna get to the main Sims room. I'm crying. I'm all into this damn nursery. <laughs> I'm all into this nursery child. I'm not even gonna get to Nivea's room. And this is her let's play. <laughs> uh crying oh okay these are okay i thought these were for the wall they're not you know what? i might have wall simlish letters so i'll leave that open for now baby and kids have whole apartments in their room right they deserve it they deserve it The Squishmallow, oh my god, yes. Okay, let's give her the, um, the Strawberry Squishmallow. No, let's give her the Mushroom one. You can put the My Melody here. Right, Krista? Like, it's just all too adorable. I can't. Cuteness overload. Not the pregnancy onesie. Mm -mm. I rebuke. I rebuke. I'm telling y'all, that baby. <laughs> that baby gonna be gone. Okay, monitor, because I just know, I just know she's going to be in here cutting up when the nanny isn't paying attention to her. So, we got to get that baby monitor. Mm-hmm. I have so much stuff. It's not even funny. What is this? Princess Canopy? What is this? Oh! <gasps> This is so cute. Wait. Oh, well, this is cute. Okay. Where can we put this? Where can we put this canopy? Yes, and her changing table. Because, you know, even princesses get their diapers changed. Okay? Like, she can't help that. She needs assistance with that. You know? She she's working on it okay so we'll put that right there let's put that back there ah oh, thank you i remember getting rid of like a lot of my cc from back in the day i don't like this for her um oh Yeah, this nursery turned out really cute. Okay, she got her books so the nanny can read to her. I hope the parents, like, and I'm just saying this as if I'm not going to be, like, you know, playing with this family, but I hope the parents don't leave everything up to the nanny. Cause you know how sometimes your Sims, you give them a nanny and it's just like, they forget they got kids. It's like, girl, your baby crying. Like the nanny about to leave your baby crying. What's, what's going on? What's happening? Cause let me tell you, once you give your Sim a daggone nanny, oh, it's like, they don't care. <laughs> like, they'll look at that baby cry and just wait for the nanny to come get it. So I, I hope that these parents aren't like that. All right, let's see here. Let's get some lamps. 
I need to figure out why my UI recolor, because I use dark mode with the Sims, because all of, again, that brightness, I, I be telling y'all, I'm, I'm no spring chicken. <laughs> all that bright white light in my face, hell no. Uh, so I changed my UI to be in dark mode, but I don't understand why parts of it in Build By is like red. I don't understand, so I need to double check my installation of it to see what I did wrong. Uh, I don't like those lamps. We need lamps that give decadence, elegance. I mean, it's a toddler's room, but it's a, a, a fancy toddler. You know, she... She's very rich. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I like those. Actually, they're too tall for my likey. You know, she, she's very rich. She doesn't need the, the low budget looking stuff. What is this? Slot machine. Hmm. Okay, let me go back up. I think I will go for the desk lamp. Oh, I could have made that lamp smaller now that I think about it. The ducky. I actually have a lot of cute CC and I often forget about what I have, but... Scrolling through it and looking at it like this. Yeah, I, I have some decent stuff. Yeah, no Fisher Price, honey. We don't we don't do Fisher Price over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't do that. Let me see. Um Oh, I like this lamp. I mean cause you know, she's little, but we can do the little moons. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to raise these pictures up some. You know what I noticed? Um, you know how you can, like, click and drag and then alt to rotate? My stuff don't be rotating, and I don't understand why. Like, my shift rotate just does not work for whatever reason. And I need to figure out why I can't do the free rotation in The Sims 4. I can only rotate stuff by a 90 degree angle. And I don't really like that. Let me see. Not the pink platform. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me see. Let's do like a purple one. Oh, that's very bougie. I'm here for it. Yeah, I'm here for it. I like it. All right. Um, let me see something. I need a dresser. Let me just move this here now. Let's move this out the way this out the way let me see if I can find a nice dresser I'm just gonna assume that this um, bedroom set does not have a matching dresser so all right Oh, wait, you know what? 
I need somebody to make a mod to make like these icons bigger. Cause sometimes I feel like I have to like get all the way up close and personal to my screen to see what I'm looking at. Um, like even when you do the hover over, I just need it to be a little, little bit bigger. Give me more. Let me see. You could do the Ikea. No, <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, we could do this for a dresser. I'm going to put this back. I just wanted to got her like a nice little dresser going in here, but hmm. I guess this will suffice. I don't know if I like that right there. Wait, is this base game? Or no, it's not base game. Is this high school years? Okay, I don't mind it. I might end up getting rid of like the footprint so that if she start complaining or whoever starts complaining how they can't move around in here, I don't want to hear it. I don't. I don't care. I don't care that she can't walk around because this is how I decorated it. So you just need to get with the program. <laughs> so, <laughs> I might do that so that there's no issue with like, you know, the Sims trying to walk around. Oh, look, there's her baby right there. Mm -hmm. There's her baby. And let's put her... Her little fake kitchen right here that she can play with um, put the wipes right there why is the high chair in here um, let's put that there more toys let's put this right here Right, I don't even, who made this? This is way too cute. This is, oh, I don't even know who that's by. But it's too adorable. Uh, let's put this right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put like a nice rug down here. I don't think we need this play kitchen. Um, yeah, I think this is good to go. Now, I'm gonna have to replace this window cause we're not having an, what is this? Oh, sliding glass door, mm-mm. Yeah, we don't need this glass door for her to what, walk to her end? Like, no, we're not. Oh, we need this door here so that the twins can get upstairs. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this fence around. We're not doing the open glass door near the nursery. I'm sorry. That's just no. It's just a no. We all knew no accidents happening. So that's, that's getting deleted the fuck um then i'm going to just sample this window but yeah we don't need that type of negativity so and again the twins are moving um i'm gonna have the one sister move first i'm not gonna say the drama but there's going to be drama because it's me right <laughs> i love the drama um, so yeah, one twin is going to move out before the other one. Um, they'll be heading to school soon, so. 
I'm not really too much worried about them. My my plan is, okay, because listen, listen, I'm not going to keep the maid and the nanny. I'm not going to keep them in prison, okay? So my plan is that when the one sister, the artsy sister moves out, I'm going to give uh, the one, I'm going to give one of them this room. Um, and yeah, she'll stay here for a little bit longer. And um, I'll turn the other room into a nice room for the other living, you know, uh, maid. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do them like that. I promise. I promise y'all. <laughs> like, I'm not going to keep them uh, locked up like that. So, all right. I like the way this turned out. Let's get some curtains in here and then we'll get started on the main Sims room. Her baby sister just got a lot of airtime. Uh, let's do some finish touches, finishing touches, and then we will move on to the next. I'm thinking white or purple curtains or even blue. Uh, let's see here. I like the length of these. Um, what color do they come in? Never mind. Oh, maybe this. Why are these so high up? Uh, hmm. Which ones do I want? Oh, I like these. I just, hmm. Oh, we're just gonna pretend we don't see the, the bar there. And I think these come in blue. Perfect, okay. Now let's put like an area rug here at the bottom. I'm probably gonna end up changing the floors throughout the house, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I don't necessarily like the flooring in here. Um, but I'll, I'll change it out eventually. Let's see. Hmm. Playing on your smart TV, not me on the big screen. And you're decorated in SL, listening. I just said before, my voice is soothing. Thank you. You know, I don't hear that often, so I do appreciate it. Thank you, Camaro. But oh my God, like I'm blushing now. I'm on the big screen. Oh my goodness. Just wait until I start turning on my camera. I, I set a goal that if I ever reach 10,000 subscribers, I will start doing more cam streams. Hold on. Let me read. Because when you say cam streams, it's not them type of cam streams. Though I wouldn't mind for the right, no, for the right. Joke. Anyway, anyway, I already said so much. Um, yeah, when I reach 10,000 subscribers, I would love to like get on camera more uh, listen camaro bills got to be paid so you know what somebody was paying me to to do some cam girl time listen i would be on video like control take it out it's hurting <laughs> okay now i'm being silly let me stop but i would anyway um <laughs> uh anyway slash me looks to the left Oh, you're decorating your window in real life for spring. Oh, I can't wait to see. Have you seen that video, Cozy? Oh my goodness. 
That is like one of my favorite reaction videos. Control figure out it's hurting. I should. You know, I don't even know what happened. Um I did have one coworker ask me a couple of times if I was in like gaming or if I like play games. So I'm like, I wonder if they saw me. <laughs> I was like, uh and then too, I remember when I was streaming on Twitch, I used to get a lot of weird comments. And um yeah, I didn't like them at all. At all. Um, they were either hyper, they were just weird all around. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna set a goal. If I ever do reach 10,000, I'll definitely get back to it. I don't know, I just feel nervous and shy about it. Is that too much? Like, no, it's not. Okay, I don't like this though, because it's like, why the baby got a mosquito net in a room right now? I don't think they need that. But um, yeah, so that's a personal goal I set for myself. Now that might not happen <laughs> ever. So, <laughs> uh, and that might not be something I have to worry about anytime soon because it definitely might not happen the way YouTube treats me but it is a goal that I have so we'll see we will see I think I want to change the color of the walls especially now that you know we're not being um, blinded by those little saucer lights. No, you're right, you're right, it will, it will. Um, so it, it is a goal, it is a goal that I have for myself for sure. Should we give her a tablet? Should we make her an iPad baby? Should we make her iPad baby? I feel like all kids are iPad kids these days. Um, so why not? But I'm gonna put it up here where she can't, you know, get to it without the nanny. What is this? Change master 3000. What does this do? I don't know what that is. I do think that this is a nice rough draft for her room and I think I made a lot of progress. I can always come back and, you know, add more artwork, add more details. Manifesting is going to happen. Thank you. Thank you. I, I will see. We'll see. Um, just, you know, if it ever does happen, hold me to it. Cause you know, I'll, I'll forget in a minute. I'll be like, what? I said, I said that, that don't sound like something I would have said. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it's 2024 samsung tiger but yeah got her a nice little tablet um but yeah you just we're just gonna have to hold me to it because i'm gonna be like what i don't remember no i th i couldn't have said that so yeah 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 um Yeah, I think this is a nice rough draft. And once I change the flooring, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. This is the funniest piece of CC that I have. <laughs> like, what? Why? <laughs> How did this get in my safe house? This man is the nastiest skink bitch I've ever met. Don't trust him. He's a fugly slut. Where did this even come from? Who made, like, whoever made this, you're so real. I, I just need you to know that. Binky Sims. Okay. I saw that one day and I was like, what, in, what is this? Where did this come from? Um, I'm just looking for my Simlish letters. Um... 
Hmm. Okay, maybe I do not have the wall version. You know what movie we need to watch? We need to watch Mean Girls. My name is Regina George. This girl is a ugly cow. Oh man, I could have sworn I had, maybe I need to install new ones, but I could have sworn that I had the Simlish alphabet that worked for the wall. But we could just write her name with the regular alphabet. Like me personally, as much as I've been into Simlish, I'm not really opposed to using, you know, regular letters. Where's A? Hold on. N I Okay, where's A? R How am I missing letters? B Okay M N A um Okay, there's O. Now where's A? Oh wow. How do I have every letter but A? That <laughs> That is something. I N K L P C X E S K Z. Well, that's it for that. Anyway, just forget it. I don't even like whatever. Maybe I'll have her draw on the wall. Like the oh, this is her and her nanny. Yes, I love it. She loves her nanny. Let me see. I don't know, she just seems like the type of little kid that would draw on the wall. I don't know about you guys, but I was the one that drew on the wall and I did that up until I was like <laughs> 10 or 11. And the last time my mom um, did what, what black mothers do when you catch your, your 10 year old drawing on the wall and I never did that shit again. <laughs> Never again. Your fave movie, haven't seen the new one. Yeah, I love Mean Girls, but you know, I, I was definitely one of the artsy, fartsy kids. And you know, my mom loved that I loved art, but she was like, yeah, we not doing this. So yeah, yeah, random fact. I, I was one of them drawing on the wall type of kids for sure. Okay, so one last thing in here. You draw on the wall with a crown all the time. See, you get it. You understand. Hmm. Look at the wallpapers I have. Oh God. Yeah, I'm still creative. I just, you know, not, I, I learned my lesson. Not anymore. Oh my goodness, nothing is working. No, all of it, no.
No. Okay, I'm just going to leave the wall as is. But I think this is a nice rough draft for her room. Where the rest of the window? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll go through and add more. But, you know, she's, she's not the main character. Although I'm sure she has main character energy. Um, let's have her come in here. I don't know if she'd be able to get up on the bed. Did the nanny change her? Okay, yes. Oh! Oh! How am I keep these two off each other? All they want to do is hunch. Like, please. And you know what? Before I forget, y'all, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this let's play is not about to have an instant anytime soon and this let's play is not about her parents they will be around while she's in high school and her early college years but it's not about them and i'm not doing infants and they already got a toddler we're not having this baby um yeah yeah, we're not, we're not doing that. Sorry. Oh my gosh, she magically isn't pregnant. No, wow, that's so amazing. All right, now back to little one. Oh, and there's Lady, the dog. Where's she at? I think Lady is so cute. Uh, I got her off the gallery to Pitbull. I love pits. Um, I wish I can have them where I live right now, but you can't. But I just think they're such beautiful animals and Pug Own just does a really good job hand painting these. It's a big paper. Right, it is. Your mom painted art murals on your bedroom walls. Your sister and you had the Little Mermaid theme. Oh, that's cute. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah, I had... um. The Little Mermaid in my room as well, and Tweety Bird. I was I was obsessed with The Little Mermaid when it came out. Um, and that's all I would watch. <laughs> like I would watch The Little Mermaid all the time. Oh, she can rock the baby in the stroller. I'm just testing the functionality of the room. I think Lady is chastising her like, girl, you know you a side character. Nobody told you to get pregnant. Thank you, Lady. Okay. Welcome to your room. Oh, I forgot to put stairs. Okay. Well, let me put them. My bad. I knew I forgot something. The baby said, now how am I supposed to get up there? Ma'am. Mm. When you were younger, you had the Power Rangers room. Oh, and then the SpongeBob room. Alyssa, you are so real for having the Power Rangers room. I probably would have been jealous of you because I was so big on the Power Rangers. Oh, my goodness. Love them down. Um, ooh. I don't know if I like that. Can I make another small platform right here? We should be able to get up it. Or can I just drop this down a little? Maybe I made it too high. Okay, try now. Delightly deceptive. Natasha seemed to respect the skill it took for Natalia to craft such a devious lie. Sure. Oh, she can get up here now. Okay, perfect. 
just testing out her toys, making sure they work. Her nanny is really fired. Her nanny has not changed her, has not given her a bath yet. Um, very alarming. Oh my gosh, that's too cute. Hello? I mean, I might have to recolor this because um, I definitely want her to, you know, have a baby doll that looks like her. So I might have to see if I could get in there and give this a recolor. Nate can't seem to do anything right lately. Making clumsy mistakes left it. Get out of here. Anyway, that is too cute. Okay, now see if you can get in your bed. Where is the nanny? Oh, that's the lady. Lady, where is the nanny? You just, okay. Well, don't nobody in this house know nothing. Okay, she's still rocking the baby in the stroller. You don't want to take a nap. You know what? Yeah, I don't know who made that, but that is like the cutest thing. Okay, look, get in the bed. And look, Lady is her best friend. Lady's watching her. Perfect. Okay, it works. And she's going to go take a nap. So her room is functional. Hopefully this nanny does something. And look, a little lady watching her with her head propped up. I love it. They're best friends. So that that is real. Now we can start on the rough draft of what's her name the main sim miss nivia who's in her sister's room girl i would not sit in this chair you don't know what your sister be doing in that chair let's let's just stand up <laughs> let's just get out this chair um because what i saw her watching earlier on this computer you don't you don't want to sit in this chair love mm-mm no ma'am but yeah we're about to work on her room why are her eyes red is she okay has she like has she been crying what's wrong with her stoned she had og kush wait this is our high schooler excuse excuse me who gave this girl OG Kush? Uh, okay. Hold on. Who are your little friends you made in high school? Because I already see that the wholesomeness that I wanted for this Let's Play, she just ruined it. Because why? Who gave her OG Kush? Because I was looking at her and I'm like, is her eyes red? Was she crying? Did something happen in school today? This girl was at school getting high. And we didn't even make it to the Let's Play yet. I just, I'm so disappointed in you, Nivea. I'm very disappointed. Let me see. Who are your little friends? Yuki, Molly, right. Telling the parents. Thorn, why do you know a grown man? Oh, she high as hell. Oh, okay. Okay, so one of these two, Molly or uh, Yuki, uh -huh. done gave her OG Kush. I'm so disappointed in her. I don't even know what to say. Anyway, let's just start on her room. So I wanted to show you guys, since she's the main character, oh. like a little bit of her personality and like some of her outfits. But like, I was so annoyed. I feel like a disappointed auntie, right? Like, cause we sent you to school by yourself so you could learn you come home high. Right, these dang teens. You know, she said, well, I'm the main sim of this let's play and you're decorating my sister's room and like, where's my room I don't see it getting decorated so I guess she just you know did her own thing but let me show you a little bit about her so let's take her in CAS 
I can't believe she with the school and did that mess. And I think, though, like, that's going to be the thing about, like, starting. You know, we're starting this Let's Play with a, a someone in high school. We're going through high school years. I never really played with high school years. So, um, like, you know, I send the kids to school if my sims have Wait. kids. But huh. I never really, like, did a deep dive into high school years. And this is going to be my first sim. But now I just feel like me playing it and then y'all watching it, I think we're just all going to be like, you know, aunties, uncles, that's just going to be judging her every move. You know what I mean? It's just like, why would you, why would you go to school and smoke? But yeah, so this is her anyway. Um, so her aspiration in life is academic. She's very smart. Um, she's cultured. She's a Virgo. She's a clean girl. She has that clean girl aesthetic. And she's an insider. You know, she she's the kid of a celebrity, right? So this is one of her everyday outfits. Hmm. And I'm going to put her on the cheer team. So this is her cheer team outfit, which I think is so adorable. By her little makeup. I didn't finish doing her makeup for the rest of the outfits, but this is her formal wear. Um, I might change it, but I think like when her parents have events and they have dinners, you know, she's a fashion girly, so she wants to be a fashion designer and she wants to be a model. So I just thought that she would go for this type of dress. Um, I have another one in mind for her as well. This is her athletic wear. She does play basketball often with her dad. Um, and you know that she's a pink girl, like she loves the color pink. So a lot of her outfits have pinks to it and things like that. Uh, so this is her active outfit. I'll add more. Um, but just to start off the let's play, I didn't want to overwhelm myself. So this, this is where we're at right now. Um, this is her sleepwear. You know, she was definitely a brat, brat's girly growing up, which me too, I remember when the Bratz came out, I was probably like anywhere between nine and like 10 or something like that, eight, nine, 10. Um, so it was like, I was old enough to respect the looks, the fashion of Bratz um, and still young enough to play with dolls. This was supposed to be pink. So this is her party outfit. She's definitely um, like her sister, you know, spoiled rich kid. She has all of the designer outfits and I'm pretty sure she, you know, is just that girl. Like this is her, her swimwear. Yeah. She is cute, but you sense it's getting real unwholesome real quick. Well, I mean, who told her to go to school and start smoking? Like. She needs to be on time out. Um, this is her warm weather outfit. I might change it, but I just thought it was cute, especially with the braids and everything. Maybe we'll do like a cute necklace. And then this is her winter outfit. This was supposed to be pink as well. What? Or did it not come in pink? Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> Well, this is close. So yeah, mm -hmm. this is her, you know, so now you get to know a little bit more about Nivea. I did not do her likes and dislikes yet, um, but I'll do them eventually. So yeah, I think she's gonna be in school cutting up for sure. Uh, but let's start decorating her room. And I think for her, I kind of get the very clean neat type of aesthetic from her like i know she's gonna like bright colors but i don't see her as the type of sim you know she's also a virgo i gave her the virgo trait i don't see her having too much clutter i think her room is just gonna be very neat <laughs> so uh whereas you know her little sister's room the toddler and then her other sisters they do have a lot more going on but I think her room is going to be a little bit more similar to her parents you know everything in its place everything neat um not too much going on oh I'm scared I'm scared are we crashing what's going on what's happening um Okay, let me save here.
I didn't even know. And again, I usually only play with like young adults, adults and like elders. I didn't even know that teens could like use base mental stuff. Like I'm really gagged by that. I'm sorry. Like I didn't know that she can come home from school high as hell. And her parents are so busy trying to woohoo each other and bust down. They don't even realize it. The nanny is nowhere to be seen and the maid is doing her job and her sisters. I don't even know what their her sisters are. Oh, they're just chilling with their dad. Well, so who's here to check on her? Oh, no wonder why she's up here hiding. She's hiding from her parents. Okay. I get it. She's in her sister's room because she's high as hell and she's hiding. Got it. You know, she, she's not a dumb kid. I'll give her that. I'll give her that much. She knew she knew to go somewhere and mind her business. But let's get started with her room. Uh, I'm going to put the bed on this wall. This wall right here. So let's see here. Okay, we're thinking really neat and organized, but colorful. Oh no, I'm I'm gonna leave it because I feel like now as her, you know, aunties, uncles, and everything, and um, we just we just have to raise her right so she doesn't go on a an off beaten path. Hmm. I kind of like this bed. This one is nice as well. This one kind of gives me her type of vibe though. With the frame. Let me see here. What else do we have? Seashell bed. I kind of like this. I... Hmm. It's her favorite color. It's very girly. Um, but you know, we can also make it very chic still. This might be a contender. Like I, I can see her having a bed like this. Um let me see what else do we have here? I don't remember if I saved or not, so let me save. I don't know if I'm going to put extreme violence back into my game, but I think I might do the other mod where it's um, like life drama or something like that, where dramatic things happen around your sins. Uh, or I might do extreme violence. I'm not sure yet. Um, what is this bed? Chanel? Oh. Hold on. No, this, this is more her. It's designer. It's pink. It's very chic. Yeah. Absolutely. Who is this by? TGS. Okay. So we've got the bed picked out. Let me find some end tables. Kind of like this. Oh, luggage. You know, she is a celebrity kid, so I'm sure she's very well traveled. So we'll put the luggage out. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, it comes with matching side tables. All right. Oh, is there no left or right one? Well. That would have been nice if there was like a left or right one, but. It's all good. I'm definitely going to change the curtains in this room. Just not right now. Uh, let's see. 
let's do the tan suitcase. I'm going to put it like near her closet. I do want them to take a family trip though all together before school starts. So that's her bathroom. I know her sisters are probably mad as hell because, you know, the parents <laughs> downsized. They knew that their kids were like going to college, the older two. And now, you know, she has her own bathroom to herself where the twins have to share. So I know they're hot about that. I would be. I would be if I were them. Let's see here. What else do we have? I don't see any other option for an end table that I would like. So let's try to find a dresser. I do like the aesthetic of this uh, Chanel theme bedroom. But I, I know it might be all the way at the bottom. Quinn wardrobe, London wardrobe. Platinum Lux dresser. Is that a mirror on the side of it? Oh, it sure enough is. I don't know if I like the look of it though, so I'll keep looking. She is a fashion girly, so I think maybe she'll have like a clothing rack with some options. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, so I'll just place it there. What else do we have? And then clothing rack. The BBL. Oh, <laughs> the BBLE wardrobe. I was about to say, what is a BBL wardrobe? Like, I don't even remember installing that. Oh, I don't think this um, set that I pick out so far has a matching dresser or wardrobe, which is fine. We can find something that. I don't like the way that looks with the Bayside bedroom dresser. Possibly. Cutout dresser. I like this a lot more. Hamptons I kind of like the way this wardrobe looks in here though. Yeah, I kind of like that. We'll see. Um, suitcase. Don't be closed minded. I don't like the clothes on that rack. But we just gonna move on. Uh, let me see. I want like a nice side dresser. Oh, a fitness bag, cause you know she does do cheer. So we can probably put that on the rack. I have to move this up. Oh, it's not fitting on this clothing rack. That is disappointing. Okay, so no to the clothing rack. It does not fit. 
That's a changing table, a purse. Okay, what clothing rag am I supposed to put a lot of this stuff on? Because some of those clothes are cute. I just don't know how I'm supposed to hang it. No. Agnes Closet, shoe rack. Can I hang it on this? Oh, it's working. Okay. Maybe not that dress. I think that might be a little bit too mature for her, but let's see here. We can do like this shirt on it. I don't know how many slots it's going to give us, but we could do this. And we can do this. Now, is it all going to move together? Perfect. Okay. Let me go ahead and delete this. And look at the swatches on this. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay. And can I put her duffel bag at the bottom? Yep. Okay, that works. Perfect. Now... Skirt we can hang on there. But yeah, I'm I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I have not been this excited to start a let's play in a while. So I'm I'm really happy and I I hope it's fun. I hope it's fun. I hope it's not like you know stressful. I just I want to keep it light. I want to keep it fun. I want to enjoy it and I want to share it with y'all. And I hope y'all enjoy it just as much as I do. Thank you, Shaolin. I, I was a little bit nervous at first because I'm like, well, do I even have the CC that's going to match her, you know, match her personality? Like, I didn't, I didn't know, but... You know, we're, we're making something shake so far. We got something coming together. I think this girl is sneaky because just like thinking of her personality and... Um, you know her her style the way she presents herself you know she seems like all oh, super wholesome but just knowing that she's going to that school and cutting up oh she's a sneaky she's a sneaky little thing i'm sure i don't trust her mm -mm. I don't know if I like that right there. <laughs> at least she's fucking the best of the best. Or at least she has taste at the end of the day. You're right. It could be worse. It could be worse, so. I'll just put this here. All right, now let's put a mirror. her chair bag all 
Well, this purse, for, no, I should have just left it where it was at. Okay. Um, and again, I just think her personality, I don't feel like there would be too much clutter going on in this room. I just do not see it happening, but I'll try to incorporate some clutter. But I just, I don't see her having it. You know what I mean? I like this better. I don't know if I like this bed still. The bed doesn't give, you know, it gives fancy vibes. I could see her maybe using that bed when she's like, you know, we get her first apartment or something like that, but it's not giving high school years type of vibes. It's giving, I pay my own bills, <laughs> like type of energy, so. That's not what we're going for. So let me just delete it for now. Let me see. I kind of like this floating bed, but then I don't. I don't know why I keep getting drawn back to this bed for whatever reason. Hmm. It's just something about it that just says her. She's probably on that little seashell bed. Getting high as hell, hoping the nannies don't smell nothing and tell her parents. I'm wondering though, like, does she like the nannies? Does she get along with the nannies? Would she? Is there nanny beef? Like, I have so many questions. Hmm. What is this? Oh, that's a pr this is pretty. I didn't even know I had that. I like it. All right, let's let's just try to put some things together um i don't know i might even look for something for her like i might go cc hunting on her behalf because i think there's the perfect room out there for her i just think a lot of my cc is like a lot of muted colors very like not age appropriate for her so i don't think i'm gonna find what i'm looking for that one that be leaving her little sis nasty bear count her days that's what you heard yeah yeah she's she's getting fired so maybe maybe that's a part of the storyline her and the nanny have beef look at this simlish purse like that's so cute You love the bed? Yeah, I'm liking the bed too. I think it's more like age appropriate for her as well. And it's like fun, it's her favorite color. So I, I think the bed stays. Ooh. Yes, you know, definitely it's a it girl friendly bed. So I, I think you gotta get it at this point. Like it's, it's not debate, oh. We have to have the skincare. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this on the floor here because I'm sure I'll put it in her bathroom. I don't like this girl already. She has seamless Chanel. Like she got all the designer purses. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. I, I don't like her because she is spoiled. I love it though. I love it. I love it. Um... Mm, trying to think 
I have like two Sims that I'm going to. Oh, what is, what is this? Why is it so big? This would be perfect if it wasn't so damn big. I don't got a smaller version? No? Okay. Well. Yeah, I, I have, um, anyway, as I was saying, I have like a sim in mind that I'm gonna make her friend. But knowing what we know about Miss Girl now, I might change her friend's traits and, you know, make her friend a little bit more um, turned up. She's also a celeb kid, just like her. And um, yeah, we, we might have to make her a little bit more. Her speed, what is this? What is this stuff? Oh, yes, definitely. So we have to exchange our our Sims save files so that they can, you know, have these birthdays together. I don't know. I, I thought about doing not the loop. I thought that was anyway. Anyway, I don't know what I thought that was until I read it. But I thought about doing like a really quick backstory with her in high school and then I thought about it and I'm like, I've never fully played through high school years. Like I just want to give it a try. And um, I'm thinking about like starting her off as a senior in high school, but I think I might just change things and make her a freshman and then even make her sisters like uh, seniors in high school so that they're all going to high school together. Or I might make her a sophomore. I don't know. Maybe we'll do like a solid, let's see, what is it? April, May, June, July, August. Maybe we'll keep it going through the summer. We'll do high school years through the summer. That might get us a solid, like, you know, at least five if I do one video a month. <laughs> we can get at least five or 10 or 12, um, you know, years in high school so maybe we can do like her last two years of high school and her sisters are going to college so oh i don't think she would be the type of girl to have her scrunchie laying out so i'm not going to do that also i don't like this anymore like i don't like the clothing rack i feel like it's not giving rich it's not giving luxury <laughs> like no that's better i do want different end tables but let me save really quick but yeah you just kind of inspired me too with the sweet 16 like maybe we can do a sweet 16 birthday party for her but maybe we'll give it like a couple of years of high school or play it all the way throughout Cause I'm not rushing, I'm not rushing this let's play. I want this to be, you know, a sim that we follow until, you know, we're all in our 60s and 70s <laughs> playing, playing the sims um, while we collect our social security checks. Like I, I wanna play the sim and her like future children for a long time. I think I got all her skincare out. Let me get her hair brushes. Yeah, I'm excited for it because I'm going to finish my other Let's Play, um, Pregnant by a Vampire. I personally love occult save files, but I found myself just struggling to tell the story. Like, I don't know what it is, maybe because it didn't go the way that I intended it to. I just been having a really hard time like 
you know, telling Cordelia's story. Um, I don't think she'll have it out there, no. I gotta remind myself, she's a Virgo. She is, oh wait, with the balloons? That definitely gives me teenager vibes, like <laughs> all these fucking balloons. Maybe not these ones, I'll find other balloons, but these are kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. The window is messing it up though. I definitely had that era in my life where I was like, balloons are so cute. And I just, you know, thought balloons were decor. So at least I didn't have the glitter phase. Like, you know, people who put glitter on everything. Like, I'm so glad that wasn't my experience. <laughs> I was never one of the glitter girlies. Um, hold on. Never mind. I'm not dealing with this right now. I need to figure out the tool mod. Like, as soon as possible. You're invested? Okay, that makes that makes me happy. But, um, yeah, I'm still going to, like, do the time I got pregnant by a vampire. But it's definitely going to be, like, you know, something if I feel moved to, to put an episode up. I'm gonna do it but I think this is gonna be my main focus um same thing with Boston CEO like I had fun with that I enjoyed it but I did it as like a joke and then people watched it and I was like oh <laughs> I didn't think anybody was gonna watch it because it was just like you know a, a jokey joke and people watched it and I was like well what I'm gonna do now what I'm gonna do now I didn't plan on you know more than a couple people seeing it I just thought y'all was gonna watch it but no but um yeah same thing with that but I just got this idea for this and I was like I want to follow a sim through every stage in life and you know just see what happens along the way and I'm excited to try it I just hope this girl don't be out here in these streets embarrassing us. That's all. Like, that, that's my only thing. Don't be out here, you know, cutting up too, too much. Because then we're just going to have to sit back and be like, at, at, let's, let's reel it in. All right, let me see here. <laughs> I really just playing the masses. Give us more. Yeah. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. Boston CEO. I think even before I like recorded that though, Shaolin, I think I remember telling you that I was going to do it as a joke. <laughs> like I was, I didn't ex have like any expectations from it. I was just like, Oh, I made the sim and then I was like well now what so let me see here I'm really drawn to this as a nightstand I think it picks up nice in the other tones of the pink glitter but let me see what swatches does this have mm. we can do the pink I don't know I just kind of like it I just wish I can find like a cute pink dresser This is like way too clunky right here. Uh, let's see. I 
Why do I feel like this bed would go perfect with like the whole 2016 glam mirror dresser? <laughs> Like, I don't know why it's giving that. And I know there are some girlies out there that still love the whole, like, mirrored look. Like, I don't know why. But it's just, that is speaking to me for some reason. Like, I don't know. I feel like mirrored dressers are the perfect balance between a little tacky, but very, like, chic and glam and elegant. But still, it's just kind of like, it's mirrored furniture. But you know, I mean, me personally, I, I like it, but this bed is just giving me that type of energy. I'll leave one out just, you know, just the case. Let me see. I don't know though. Hi Napa. What you doing? What are you doing, Papa's? Actually, no. Let me see something. Why does it feel like I have incomplete sets? Like that is, wait, this is what I was looking for for the toddler room. Excuse me, where did this come from? And where was it hiding? Because <laughs> I was looking for this shit. Excuse me. You know what? These Sims don't have any respect for me. I think that's what it is. Oh, it's kind of big right there, too. You know what? I'll leave it there for now. I'll figure something out. I was looking all over for that damn thing. Anyway, let me see. Oh. That was an accident. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> but I was not trying to be BRB. Sorry about that. I do want to give her like a vanity area, but not this vanity. I'm just not seeing like a chest that I like. Maybe this? I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a chest. You know what I mean? But I need to find the right one. I can't have her, you know, getting on social media and, like, you know, posting videos from her room or, like, taking pictures and they're clowning her on Social Bunny. Like, that would be just no, that would be the worst. So it needs to be the right chest, the right dresser, like all of the right things. Only the best for my girl. I'm just not seeing one that I like. Hmm. We'll do this. I'll put out I'll put out something just as a rough draft, but I think I will go on a dive to see if there's any like custom content I can find that really fits her her needs so I'll put this out for now and then let's give her she has a mirror. She has her nightstand. I think she has all of the basic stuff. Like she has her mirror, her end tables, everything's super pink, super girly, which is her. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give her an area to do homework and study. 
because she doesn't really, you know, have a place. She is an academic, you know, she's really good in her schoolwork. So I need to give her a nice, you know, a nice study area. Let me see here. Oh, this is cute. But none of the furniture matches, like. Life in plastic, what is this? Okay, this is also life in plastic. I think these go together, so these two are life in plastic. The only thing is if I search, my game is gonna crash. I cannot, let me look up, hold on. I'm Googling, <laughs> 6 a.m. life in plastic. I wanna see what this entire set is supposed to look like. Okay, let me show you guys. This is what we have, but it feels like I don't have the complete set. So, all right, we got the bed, the, oh, the pillows. Okay, the fireplace, the vanity. All right, now to find this. <laughs> So let's try to find the end table at least and then the matching vanity chair. Um, I knew something would just seem like, like I knew I wasn't tripping and we can leave the white dresser. I think that's fine. But something just fell off and I couldn't quite put my finger on it. So let me find... Yeah, the pillows are cute, right? Like I'm glad I looked at it because I'm like... There has to be something. There's no way I can just have this bed. And not that everything has to be matchy, but I don't know. I kind of like the cohesive look. I even like this chair. Actually, I kind of like this better <laughs> than the chair that comes with it. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I just made that executive decision. Mm -hmm. Um, let's give her a nice computer. Although this is a vanity, I'll probably set it up to where, you know, she has like makeup and stuff set up here. Um, but again, she's very neat. So it's not going to be clutter everywhere. Let's give her a nice, I think maybe like a white PC. Oh, it's too big. Um, maybe she's a MacBook kind of girl. Let's give her tablet PC that's also falling off it's the weird shape of this yeah all the keyboards are falling back mm. that's not functional that is also not functional Can I? No, I can't. Can we just pretend that it's not falling off? <laughs> like, can we just pretend that it's not falling? I think if we just all agree to like ignore the fact that some of it is falling off, um, it's not falling off. Like collective delusion, right? Like that's all we need to do is just, you know, we don't see it. Let me see what this gaming setup looks like right here. Is this functional though? Hmm. Is it functional? Is the question. That works. We'll just, again, we're, we don't see the keyboard and mouse flying off. Um, I think if you acknowledge it, you're rude <laughs> and we're just, we just, you know, look at, look at something else, child. No, just pretend you don't see it. All right. The, you know how the sins is. This ain't second life. <laughs> like I can't, I can't adjust that perfectly. Each individual piece. Thank you, Shaolin. You're a real one. You're a real one. Um, so I am going to, I don't want to spoil it, but she does have a hobby and this hobby has brought her her own notoriety. Um, so 
I'm not gonna put it, where is it? Well, if I put it out, you would already know. I actually think I put it in her sister's room. So she does have, you know how the teens can like, um, be a influencer. She is an influencer. Um, she's been doing that for a while. And she has this beautiful, beautiful YouTube play button that is very, very precious to her. Which one's better? Is it the gold plaque? I don't remember, but she should have both of them now that I think about it. Thank you. It's all about the delusion. Oh, insufficient funds. Okay. Yeah, she is a YouTuber. So. We'll definitely have her like make YouTube videos. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hi there. That's where she keeps her plaques. I thought this was a candle. That is laundry soap. That is that is not a candle. All right, well, that that wasn't what I wanted it to be. Um, or do I like this one better? I like the frame one better. Hold on. Isn't the first one they give you like the red one? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't earned any of these. I, I wouldn't know. Uh, let's just do these two. Wait, those look the same. All right. We got her YouTube stuff up. All right, now to find these nightstands. Let's see here. I'm wondering if the nightstands are not, um, categorized as a nightstand I'll see so I know it's by 6 a.m let me just save so that I so that I don't lose nothing Whew, all right I feel like this room is definitely starting to represent her a little bit more that we made these changes. Like I would look through this house and be like, well, that's her room for sure. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Oh wait, here it is. It was there the whole time. All right, so we found the nightstand, perfect. What else am I looking at here? All right, there's like a mirror. I'm not gonna put a fireplace in her room. I'm not gonna use this chair. Let me get the pillows and the lamp. Yeah, get the pillows and the lamp. Then I feel like, you know, Elisa will look a little bit more cohesive. So let's get back to the bed furniture. Where are those pillows? We saw them earlier. They're in here somewhere. Hmm. No, oh, we definitely looked at those pillows not too long ago. Let me scroll a little bit slower. 
Maybe they're under decor and not in bedding? Question mark. There's the bed. Uh, yeah, this is the bed. Oh, I kind of like this softer pink better. Hold on. Yeah, I like that a lot more. All right, there is the bed. Where the where are the pillows? You know what? When we're not looking for them, they're gonna come. They're gonna come out, and I'm gonna be like not even thinking about them. <laughs> uh, they might be under decor, so whatever. Um, let's look at the lamp. What is this, an R? Oh, I do have the alphabet and lights. U, I. Yeah, they probably are where all the other pillows go. Mm, I don't feel like messing with the string light. If I can make this small and like use it as the core, I would love that. Oh, I can. Where would I even put this though? Cause she's still a teenager, right? So she would still have like stuff. Oh, that's too big. Stuff in her room that teenagers would have. Maybe I can put it like on the desk. Just gonna make it a little bit smaller. Oh, that's as small as it gets. Okay. Oh. Maybe I can put it on like her nightstand. But is it floaty? Yeah, it is. Let me try to take it down some. Okay, cute. All right, now let's look for a table lamp. She does need the ring light, cause you know, again, she's a YouTuber. So let's just put this here where she does her content creation. Oh wait, her room is gonna be so cute. Wait, it just hit me. This is gonna come together like so pink, so girly, really adorable. Okay, I'm here for it. What is this? Oh, a little cloud lamp. Girl, we're not doing that. I don't see the lamp. Oh, we can do the other ring light. I think right here is fine. That's a lot of ring lighting, but whatever. More lighting, the better. Um, 
I might not do the matching lamp. I just thought it looked cute. Crystal glow lamp. I do like this one. But I don't know if I want to make it pink. I think I want to make it like white. Yeah, that's cute. All right. Oh, this is definitely like a high schooler's room. Let me play with the um, wallpaper. But yeah, I need to find flooring for this house. I um, I don't like the flooring that's in it. It's not terrible, but it's just not my preference. I'm not going to fuss with it right now though, so. Oh, this, this is very bougie. Oh, not that, oh gosh. Oh gosh, no. Yeah, that wall is very bougie. I kind of like it though. Let me see what else we have here. Maybe something with like some nice crown molding. I don't like that. I don't like that either. I don't know what my issue is with like finding the right wallpaper. Like I have so many good, so many like nice um, wallpapers, but for whatever reason, I just don't like the ones that I have. I can't explain. Like, I know they look good. I know they're cute. I just, I'm not here for them half the time. I don't know if I like that. Hold on, cause I'm hyper-focused now. I'm quiet and I'm, I wish I could see the way I'm staring at the screen. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, it has to be something. Hmm. Let's look at paneling. I don't mind the paneling in her room actually I just feel like some of these panels sit a little bit too high um, well this just makes her room look too vintagey I don't like it no, I'm just going to leave the wallpaper as is. I'll change it later. I'm not sold on it, but I'm not mad at it for now. I'll be right back, though. Give me one second.
All right, I have returned. Okay, so we got the light. What does it say? Kawaii, no. What is this? I don't know. No. No, ma'am. All right, let us look at a rug because we need a rug in here. Um, let me pull up decor and I'm just going to look at all decor at this point. If I crash, I know why. <laughs> if I crash, I, this is why. So just give it a minute. It has to pull up all of my decor, which is a lot. And then pretty soon I got to start getting ready to get my hair done. I'm getting, um, I'm just getting it pressed out and I think I'm going to get crochet, cro crochet twist. I found something called Yankee twist on Amazon and I'm like, Oh, these are cute. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my last thermal press of the season. I'm not getting a silk press because I just, yeah, I haven't found somebody besides myself in my area that can do a silk press the way that I like it. And they're just doing like a flat iron and charging silk press prices. So I just have this lady I go to, she washes it. I do like a head spa, like a head spa treatment. It feels so good. And then my hair gets like steamed and there's like water coming from everywhere. Oh, it's so relaxing. And, um, yeah, I'll just have her like flat iron my hair, which is cheaper than me going to her and getting a silk press and she can't, she can't do it. I don't know. These Arizona stylists are built very different. I saved, um, I think a few minutes before doing this, but I just got to let it load. I have a lot of decor, so. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt for like wallpaper that would look good in her room. I mean, I could put like a nice gray tone or like a nice tan and leave it plain. But yeah, let me save here. I don't know. I just feel like there's something out there <laughs> that I don't have. Even though I know I have wallpaper that would look cute in this room. I just, I haven't found it yet. So. And I do want to say thank you for everybody that's tapping the hearts on the stream. Thank you for everyone that's just, you know, chilling. Uh, thank you for any thumbs up can't see any of that on my end but I do I do want to say thank you guys for your time I really appreciate it though I um I don't think she would be the type of person to leave a cup in her room however it's the sims right so how else can I emulate that she's drinking drinking boba while doing her YouTube stuff and homework. So we just put that there. You miss getting your hair done. These natural stylists in general, 400 US dollars to get a curly cut. Yeah. It's really ridiculous. I I don't like it, but my hair, I definitely need my hair trimmed often. I just, my hair, if I don't get it trimmed, it will grow. But if I don't get it, my ends dusted regularly, I get really bad split ends and yeah. 
we don't want none of that so Maybe like a nice snake plant? No, I don't like that. I do want her to have a plant in her room. This is kind of cute. I'm not sold on it yet. gonna start putting some stuff out oh a purse another one she doesn't need another one flower vase I'm still keeping an eye out for the pillow I like this better than the other one let me delete this I do have a lot of CC oh my goodness Wait, this is pretty and it kind of matches her aesthetic, but I don't got no other, like, they don't got no brown people. No, they don't. Well, <laughs> grand opening, grand close. I forgot one. Uh, I also like this flower vase. I have some beautiful flowers. What the heck? I don't even know where these all came from, but I like them. Hmm. calendar now she would have a calendar shine bulletin board oh yeah that, this is definitely like organized kid type of vibes like she's very organized um maybe i'll put it right here it's her calendar Oh wait. No, I don't like that one better. Nope, that's fine. The way it is. All right, so she has that. I wanted to give her like books, a bookshelf, but I just don't think we have the space to do it in here. I can probably put some, maybe like get a wall shelf and put it on there like that, but for the first draft of me going through her room, I'm not really worried about it right now. looking for some things to put on her walls what are these the posters oh wow <laughs> oh wow uh sounds of nature painting I actually kind of like these long, like sheer curtains. Let me see something. I don't, mm, I don't like any of the colors they come in though. Nope, not that. 
I'm still looking. I'm still looking for like, you know, nice decor to add, but her room isn't gonna be super cluttered. That's not the vibe that we're going for. Let's see here. Maybe I can put the makeup in her bathroom. No, it's too much going on. I could put this like here. I forgot this dresser was over here for a minute. Um, oh wait, this doesn't have a dresser in the set, does it? No. But it's fine. I don't think we need that many mirrors. Um, why is this mirror so damn big? No. All right, let me keep scrolling. Let's get past all of the mirrors because we don't need that many. And let me start looking at some curtains for this room. I think these are cute. I like the bow. But I don't, I don't like them though. It's too tiny. I think this one, yeah, might have the same problem, too small. Oh dear. Now this isn't bad. What colors is it coming though? Hmm, this one no, not for her. Also, no. Yeah, I think a lot of my CC is just like neutral, neutral colors. I really do want to see people do more swatches besides like tan, brown, uh, <laughs> what else? Gray. Like, I, um, I hope that becomes a thing, you know, like more color variety. If not, I just need to really sit down and learn how to do recolors and make CC. Cause I know how to use blender. I know how to texture things. I know how to, you know, get my stuff baked, all those good things. But I am not familiar with using Sims 4 Studio. So I need to, um, get better with that god none of these curtains look good where's the DIY curtains like now these are cute but do they only come in floral Oh, these are perfect. Okay. Now I'm happy. Okay. So there's one side. Was that medium right, medium left? I need to find a good color for these. Um I think I'll just keep that like light blush type of color. And where's the center rod? I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Oh my, it's not even the same height. <laughs> what? Oh, 
there we go okay then i just need to move this up now we have curtains perfect I'm not gonna lie, I do like the little heart beads. I think it is, you know, really fun, youthful. Um, I don't know where the other side to them is though. But I think that's cute. Aria, yeah, I only have the one side. Well, we'll just pretend that I have both sides. I'll put one up here. Oh, it poofed. Oh, I'm accidentally hitting something. There we go. All right, now let me put these curtains back up. get the rod okay what am I doing wrong over here oh my goodness this is there we go Oh, it's been a while since I ever had to decorate a room for any, like, teen, toddler. Well, no, I've done toddler, like, nurseries and things like that and infant nurseries. But it has been a while since I decorated a room for, you know, any other life stage that wasn't young adult, adult, whatever, and their baby. This has taken more brain power than I anticipated. But I'm, I'm having fun decorating it though. It's definitely challenging me for sure. Um, I'm probably gonna just do her bathroom. Separately, cause I, I gotta get ready to go soon. But I think this is a really, like really, really good rough draft. <laughs> like not to toot my own horn, but I'm thoroughly impressed with myself. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna add a few more touches here. Let me put a rug out and then I'm gonna move all of the makeup stuff into her bathroom. I'm not gonna do the heart rug with the heart bed. I think that's too much. Oh yeah, like a nice white fluffy rug would be perfect. Let me see here, I don't need this. Let 
You took the words out of your mouth as you was looking out your window. It's been a minute since you decorated. Yeah, I just, I, I haven't decorated for any, like, you know, um, like teen sims or like kid rooms. I normally just age them up because I'll be like, man, if you don't get, get out of here, I'm not doing none of the school shit. But no, this time I want to give it a try. I'm going to challenge myself to, you know, pull through, try it out. Thank you. Her room is turning out amazing for a rough draft. Thank you. I really just wanted it to mirror her. You know, I wanted it to look like her room. And I feel like it's coming together nicely so far. So thank you. I don't know what the fuck that is. But yeah, I know once I change the house flooring and figure out like the tool mod and maybe get like, you know, the final touches. I love adding these like light switches and outlets. I think it adds for realism. What is this? Towel rack. I have to find posters of like Sims to put up. I think she would probably have like posters of a celebrity crush. I don't know who her crush would be like I was that I put posters on my wall and in my locker um I just don't know who is trending right now I don't get me lying I would not know <laughs> but um yeah I feel like we just have to come up with um some type of like poster to put on her not the sin new oh my goodness not in her room. I really need bigger icons so I can see what I'm looking at. Oh my goodness. I'm still looking for those pillows. Um, I have yet to come across them. It's a flower. They're somewhere. They are somewhere and I know that when I'm working on the rest of the house, they're gonna pop out at me when I least expect it. And I'm gonna have the pillows to put on the bed, but. Oh, okay, there's makeup brushes. We can put this in the bathroom. More makeup type of stuff. Medical student notes. Well, she's not a medical student, but I do want to put like homework right here. This is kind of big though make it a little bit smaller okay there's her homework oh I don't have the whatchamacallit that sucks Let me look through clutter. You love adding stuff like that. Sometimes you add a little AC, a fan, and a radiator. Yeah, 
I think like all of those details just make it much more realistic, you know? It makes the home look more lived in. Oh, I like this little sleeping mask. That's cute. Put that on her nightstand. Bottom shoes look, never mind. <laughs> never mind, the shoes are, are lovely. I love the shoes. Okay, her alarm clock. As a teen, your crush was Chris Smith from Criss Cross. Used to run and kiss the tea. Oh, that's so cute, cozy. I definitely had a crush on Usher. I don't care who knows. Like I had him in my locker like he was uh i had that confessions poster in my locker like i didn't care i was so here for usher Oh, that was a jump scare. I'm not even going to repeat what that was, but that was a jump scare. Yikes. Oh, a backpack. Duh. We need a deco backpack. She's in high school. Let's put it by her desk. Okay, we got the backpack. Memories of decorating the locker with posters and pictures, right? Do do high schoolers even have lockers anymore? Like, is that still a thing? Oh, here are the boxes I was looking for. Let me put them up in the older sister's room really quick. Cause again, I can't search, so. Wait, the she in box, hold on. Maybe she has a... Um... gonna put them out here maybe she has a collab now use code um, Nivea for 15% off your order I know that's right and look she she don't even wear she in you know she that that's for us that's for us she don't even wear she in but, you know, she got that used code Nivea for 15% off. So we can, you know, have that in the backdrop when she's doing her, um, her thing. The music magazines, I do. I think, um, the ones I used to read were like, God, what were the names of them? I just remember having a copy of one and it had Bow Wow on it. <laughs> I forget the name of that though. Like Bow Wow and Lil Romeo were very prominent. J something. That that's all I remember for the magazine name. I actually like her having a bottle of Fiji at her desk. For her hydration needs um, I like these shoes better yeah what colors do they come in <laughs> these just look a little bit nicer than the other shoes see you're just gonna delete these like they was never there we don't have to let them go And is there a sneaker? Mm -hmm. 
All right, I'm going to end it here because I got to get ready to go to my hair appointment because I literally can sit here and scroll through the decor for like hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then by the time I look up, I'm like, dang, I missed my hair appointment. Now I'm getting charged a fee. I ain't even go. So yeah, I got to get ready to get my hair done. But I, I, I think I got off to a good start. And the next time you guys see this family, I'm going to be doing the introduction and a house tour. And, you know, then we'll start the Let's Play. But I'm, I'm really excited. So let me just... Um, quickly you missed school kind of you was low-key a nerd I was in band I did band stuff oh yes word up magazine I remember a 17 magazine that was like the um the teen fashion magazine I used to get that delivered to the house I used to love me a Seventeen magazine. Yeah, Word Up magazine. There was another one that started with a J. I just can't remember the name of it for whatever reason. Yeah, all of the pictures that you would get, the little fold-out pictures, I love those. Oh, that's way too big. Oh, she got the nice TV in her room. Whew. All right. We did a really, really great, really great job today. We got a lot done. like that a little bit better I don't know about this color though okay much better I used to beg my mom all the time for like magazine subscriptions like real bad all right so to recap, let's go in live mode. Ignore the floors, cause I'm gonna go through and redo the floors in the whole house. But we got a rough draft for the younger sister's room. We'll be seeing a lot of her because the older two sisters will be moving out. But we did this. I think it turned out really cute. There's something missing here. Oh, there it is. So we did all of this. I like the way her room turned out. I think it's just super adorable. And then we also did the room for, oh no. I told you to stay out of your sister's room. She be doing weird stuff in here. You don't wanna touch that keyboard. You don't wanna sit in that chair, trust me. <laughs> we did her room, uh, which I'm really happy with the way this is turning out so far. Now, somebody tell me why the nanny is on her computer instead of taking care of Naomi. Jet Magazine. Yeah, I used to like Jet Magazine. Yeah, why is the nanny not doing her job? Anyway, I think her room turned out so cute if we just ignore like that right there. 
But yeah, it turned out so cute. So she has her, you know, her schedule, her calendar. She is one of the planning type of girls. I'm sure she has a Pinterest filled with like planner stuff. Um, her nightstands, her bed. Now, why is the baby out of... Oh, this nanny is getting fired. This nanny is getting fired, episode one, because she's still on the dirty diaper. I know you lying. Oh, yeah. I don't think the mom's happy about it, but I think the mom is, you know, seeing how much damage we did, how much money we spent. Um, you know, we have her cheer back here, her alarm clock, her face mask, her YouTube play buttons, you know, her perfume, her Shinerba purses, because it's not Chanel, it's Shinerba, um, because, you know, it's The Sims. Should we just fire this nanny, like, before I end here? What what's going on? <gasps> Where's the nanny? I'm sorry, you're fired. Letitia, fire this woman. I'm not even gonna wait till the let's play. I'm just gonna fire her now. Where is it? More choices. Um uh, more choices. Live in service. I can't fire her. We need a new nanny. She's not. Yeah, the baby still stink. She's not going to make the cut at all. I'm sorry. But while we fire the nanny and get a new nanny, I do want to say thank y'all for coming to hang out. Uh, Fridays, I definitely want to come and do either like some decorating or like let's play prepping or work on the community save file, which I have to redo because it got corrupted, but I have a backup copy. Don't worry. Uh, so maybe next weekend we can work on the community save file so I could start, you know, playing that live. I think it's so funny because whenever I'm in that save file, it's just like typing has like the most egregious blush and I always forget to change it. And that blush be so strong and some rare big nor in the hell out her babies. Um, but I gotta redo all of it, so. Um, cancel living me. No, not you, the nanny. It's the nanny that's getting fired. Thank you, Cozy, I appreciate it. No, this nanny is terrible. Cancel living nanny. You gotta go. I'm sorry. Hire living nanny. How you say that? Losefina? La A? Hmm. Okay, it's done. You had twins in the community save file, but um, in the file that corrupted, I changed it so that you had baby Elena. Um, we're going to ask her to leave. More choices. Actually, I'm just going to delete her. She's a randomly generated sim. She was no good anyway. I'm just going to... Let's see. More choices. Destroy. 
she's gone the nanny's been fired yeah <laughs> yeah she's been fired now let's see where the other nanny is does she make it i don't think she the baby's still funky okay and she's crying um i'm just gonna cheat the baby's like issues she's very sad she's upset like it's not her fault it is not her fault, okay? And y'all twins, y'all grown as hell. Y'all like 18 years old. Y'all could have did something. Old grown asses. Could have helped that baby out. I'm not seeing the other nanny. Yeah, if you like the whole idea of having like the, you know, bougie rich family sims, I highly recommend the, um, oh my gosh, you can see downstairs. But yeah, I highly recommend the live in services mod. It's fun. And you don't have to worry about where, you know, anyone is at. Like, see the maid? Oh, she's on her job. She's cooking. She's making sure the house is clean. She already got her makeover. Like, she, she gets the job done. We like her. Oh, wait, is the new nanny here? And why is the baby going up the stairs by herself? I don't even see this new nanny. You know what? Oh, not the dad in the bathroom crying probably because he just spent so much money on his daughter's room. Um, let me put all the walls down. That's the maid. The new nanny is not here yet. She's not. Um, but it's fine. I'm going to get dressed. <laughs> I literally been sitting here hanging out with y'all in my um my shorts and my sports bra. Yeah, new nanny's not here. Well, we'll sign this bed to her. But yeah, with the living services, you can like make their own room as I've done here. Um of course i'm gonna make it look nicer like it's not it's not gonna stay like this trust me trust me just you just 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 wait wait and see <laughs> but i do want to say thank you guys so much i'm really happy with the way the rooms turned out so far and i can't wait to add the final touches and just see how it all comes together i do appreciate y'all's time and i hope you have a great rest of your day and your respective time zones and pretty soon we will have this girl keep being on her sister's computer i'm so sorry her sister be watching corn on this computer and rubbing on herself so i come to your own computer sweetie don't don't touch her computer that computer's nasty yeah you you play bill block in your own computer but um i do want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out and as i was saying the next time you see Nivea Jones and her family, I think we're just gonna start her out as a freshman in high school. Um, I'm gonna like do some, you know, renovating to the townies and make sure that she has some friends in high school, all that good stuff. So yeah, that's, that's gonna be the next time you see her. And I do wanna say again, have a good one and I will catch you guys next time. She's stuck. Okay, goodbye. I'm done with this game. Goodbye, y'all. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.